Yo man, what's going on? It's Kevin Pack here. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the channel. I know a lot of you folks out there struggle with product research because that's one of the key components of doing an Amazon FBA business. But if you're struggling, if you wanna find new ways to do product research, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk. So in today's video, we're going to be going over my new favorite way to do product research in 2021, which is also applicable in future years if this video is seen in 2022, 23, 24, 25, whatever. But if you're enjoying this kind of content, if you're excited to get down and see what my favorite method of doing product research is, please like the video, subscribe, and let's do this. So let's talk about what my favorite method is. It's good old Amazon. So I'm going to show you guys how it works and also why I chose this method and why I've been doing it so much recently. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to be on Amazon and we're using Amazon itself to tell us what is going on, what is good. All right, we're going to find our products here. So the way I do this is I simply just type in a very generic category. So you can see here on the side here, we have a lot of different departments and categories that we can go through and we can search in. But I'm not only going to just type this in, I want to kind of be a little bit specific within this range, but also very, very vague. I don't want to be very specific and be like, you know, like um, a baby stroller or something like that. I want to go broader than that, like baby toys, right? So that's a little bit more broader because it's not a specific toy. It could be a lot of different toys, right? But it's a general vague thing. So normally a lot of people actually go on here and they'll type in like A and then they see what happens and they'll be like B, see what happens, whatever. I want to type in an actual like whole category. So we can do like bathroom decor. That's a very vague thing. So I like like this because what it's going to do is going to pull up a bunch of different products. So you can see here as I'm going through the page, you're already seeing none of these products are the same. Like they're not exactly the same. There's a bunch of different types of products that are related to this general, I guess, category, which is bathroom decor. And that's why I like it because there's a lot more variety and it's a lot more fun to see. So that's why I like doing this method. Very, very simple searching in a generic broad category or description of products or type of products, right? So this is what I've been doing a lot. I find a lot of different products. And what I look for is I'm looking for products that look very unique and interesting and also have low review. So that's kind of tell me how well it's doing in the category, right? So we got um, we got some other things here. So we got like funny bathroom decor right here. So I'll put I'll put this it's like wall decor, right? It's a wall sign or something. So I'm gonna go for that. We got toilet paper box, low reviews doing well. Check that out. We'll go for one more good one here. Again, I'm just looking for something with low reviews that looks interesting. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. So I'll take a look at all of these and kind of find the category or the keyword and type it in and analyze it from there. So do farmhouse, bathroom, wall decor. Uh, looks like farmhouse, bathroom, wall decor. So this is a little bit more specific. Oh, nope. This is actually not very specific. Let's do funny bathroom signs. That's what it is. Funny bathroom signs. Boom. There we go. So now we have something a little bit more accurate that we can look at. Something that's more generally the same. So these are all just wall signs that we can see. And then from here, we analyze the numbers and see how well it's doing. We look at the total revenue. Uh, we look at the reviews and dial it in from there and just kind of take a look at it and see what's going on here. So wait for that to load. I like to order organize the revenue high to low. Generally kind of make sure these are all the same products. Don't show me again. And yeah, these are generally the same products. It's not the same product. And from there, we kind of just analyze and see, okay, how's the revenue doing? How's the reviews doing? What's it like? And is there room for us to go into this market, right? So that's how we're going to be analyzing it. And you move on to the next product, right? So I, you notice that when I go through this, I kind of just opened up a few tabs as I go, went through. I didn't kind of like click on something and stick with it. I kind of just went through uh, and clicked on a bunch of products. And then once I finished, then I go back and I research it, which is what we're doing now. So we'll look at, uh, this is a bathroom decor toilet paper hole. Bathroom decor toilet box. There we go. A bunch of different toilet box signs here. And again, go through the numbers, see how it's doing, analyze it. And I find this way more fun than doing other products because, or, or like just going on the web app 
which is totally which is totally fine it's a good starting point but this is a way to change things up and really see okay is it a good market or not how many products am i finding um also if you guys are wondering what this chrome extension i'm using is called x-ray from helium 10. Uh, if you guys want a discount code to use their applications a link in the description for you to check that out uh it is an affiliate link so you win i win we all win up in here but yeah so this is what i use this is my go-to i use everything helium 10 uh keep everything in sync and we keep looking through these items so yeah that's how i find potential products nowadays and i like to find a bunch of variety of products this way so i'm not just stuck seeing the same thing as everybody else and you could always type in different things you're not going to type in the same thing as everybody else so you might be in a certain category where you might be hey you know i like i like toys and games so i'll type in toys and games or i like sports and outdoors or i'll put fitness products or something like that right so pick a category that you're interested in and then just kind of type in that generic vague term and then look through Amazon, look through Amazon itself. Amazon is where everything's happening. It gives you the answers, so don't be afraid to use it. So that is my favorite way of doing product research in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Hope you guys gained some insight out of this and I hope that you guys can like the video because it's so, it's so helpful. It is so helpful to the channel. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe if you want more content on learning about Amazon FBA and uh, we're gonna make some gains out here we're gonna make some gains out here all right thank you guys so much for watching we will see each other in the next video as always go make that money and take care peace